Hey everybody, Sean Prescott, Remax Crown Realty. I'm your homegrown realtor. One of the things I often get questions about are from people who are thinking about buying a vacation home here in Florida, and there's a lot to talk about with that, so let's get started. One of the first questions that comes up is why should I buy a vacation home instead of just maybe renting seasonally? So the first and foremost is going to really be for your personal enjoyment. If you enjoy coming to Florida's Treasure Coast or going to a specific place, it might be beneficial, might save you money in the long run to actually own a place that you come to as opposed to renting a place every time you want to visit. The second one would be for uh, increasing markets. What we've experienced the last couple of years, we've seen the value shoot up so you can build wealth while enjoying a nice vacation place. Planning for retirement is another reason. Buying your home now, even if you aren't really ready to retire, and using it as a vacation home not only can save you money on the purchase, as the properties generally increase in value, but also allows you to use it to save money during the time that you are still working. Also, you can use it as an investment to rent it out either seasonally or annually so that it actually ends up being paid for by someone else. If in the past you owned investment real estate and you've sold that property, you now can roll that money into a 1031 exchange to defer the taxes and apply it towards purchasing something like a vacation home that you're also going to uh, use as an investment to rent out. Now owning a vacation home can not only be great for you to use and enjoy, but also can generate very good income if you rent it out seasonally, uh, either through a service like uh, Airbnb, VRBO, those types of resources are great, or uh, renting it seasonally through a real estate agent as well. Uh, great ways to uh, build some wealth, have the property get paid off by someone else, but there are some additional expenses to think of in those particular scenarios. Specifically, renting seasonally or doing a vacation rental like an Airbnb or VRBO, you do have to fully furnish the property. You're still gonna have to maintain the property. You're going to be responsible for not only the normal maintenance, the lawn, uh, water, uh, electric, things like that, but you're also gonna be responsible for the turnover of the property, so as people uh, move uh, leave from their vacation and you have new uh, tenants coming in you're going to need to be able to manage the cleaning and restocking and resetting of the property which can uh, be something that you can hire out or you can do yourself if you own a second home or a vacation home and you live nearby all in all there's a lot of reasons to uh, consider a vacation home particularly here on the treasure coast of florida uh, there's great opportunities for uh, yourself to come and enjoy planning for your future retirement, uh, using it to generate some income from other seasonal travelers, and also to benefit from the appreciation. So if you have questions about this, if you would like more information, please let me know. You can reach me in the comments. And if you are finding this on YouTube, please like and subscribe and share this with your friends. This is Sean Prescott, 3 Max Crown Realty. I am your homegrown realtor. Thank you.